I'm Jim Fredericks, I'm with the National Pest Management Association, and I'm here to talk to you about cockroach. People in the United States encounter typically four different kinds of cockroaches brown-banded roaches, oriental roaches, the American cockroach, and the most pervasive, the German cockroach. German cockroaches are just the one cockroach that is found typically in homes, in structures, in restaurants. It's found everywhere. So it's the most common cockroach that people find uh, in their homes and places of business. Some people might think that cockroaches are just gross, uh, but in fact they are harmful. Cockroaches are capable of carrying bacteria and other pathogenic organisms on their bodies from one place to another. Cockroaches are clean in that they tend to groom themselves frequently, but they inhabit some pretty nasty places. So if a cockroach is in a sewer and then 10 minutes later is on a lunch counter in a restaurant, you can imagine that it's transferring some pretty nasty things from one place to another. In addition to moving pathogenic organisms, things that would call food poisoning, they're one of the leading causes of asthma and allergies in children. But to control cockroaches or to keep your house uh, free of cockroaches, um, one of the things that you can do is to clean up. Cockroaches need food, water, and shelter to survive. So by cleaning up spills and wiping up crumbs around the house, keeping food tightly sealed, and then sealing up cracks and crevices and cabinets or in countertops where they might hide, that's gonna be the first step to keeping your house free of cockroaches. People often say that cockroaches will be able to survive a nuclear attack. It turns out that a direct hit, nothing would survive. Um, but there is some truth behind that statement. It turns out that cockroaches are able to withstand higher levels of radiation than humans or other mammals. Because cockroaches are insects, they have a process of growth called stadial growth, meaning they grow up to a certain point, then they shed their exoskeletons, and then they have a rapid period of growth again, then they shed their exoskeletons and have another rapid period of growth. And because of these, uh, these uh, uh, periods of rapid cellular growth and, uh, and, and, and division, that's when the effects of radiation are felt in an organism. Because cockroaches and other insects are not continuously growing and dividing cells and creating new cells in their body, they're less susceptible to the harmful effects of radiation on their cells. 